The comment was made at a Saskatchewan Country Music Association meeting last week. Questions were raised as to why Indigenous artists were being given a bursary and not an Indigenous Artist of the Year award in the form of a physical trophy at an upcoming awards ceremony. Jared Petra is second vice president of the association and an Indigenous country musician. Petra says his colleague, longtime community radio host Reg Wilk, made a comment that made him feel uncomfortable. One of the comments made was, um, why, give them, why give them an award when they are just going to pawn it off anyway? It triggered me and all the emotions that ran through me were things that I had to go through. You know, growing up Indigenous, whether it was in school or hockey, and all the things that I had to face, and doing something that I love, especially with music, I didn't find that comment funny at all, and it was very hurtful. Wilk has since resigned from his positions with the association, and the board of directors for Regina's community radio station, CJTR-FM, have also removed his program, Picketed Country, from the schedule. Wilk has apologized to Petra. Petra says that he doesn't believe Wilk meant intentional harm with his comments, but that doesn't reduce the harm done. The president of the Saskatchewan Country Music Association says Wilk is taking full ownership of what he calls careless comments. He's also undergoing sensitivity training. The board of directors for the association met earlier this week to discuss how to move forward. We had a very serious sometimes uncomfortable discussion, but very meaningful discussion about racism and about systemic discrimination within our society and within the country music industry and also within the SDMA. And I've got their unanimous support. Every single individual on that board of directors believes the same thing I do, that systemic discrimination is real. Association members decided to create an inclusivity committee to act against discrimination in the industry. It will include Indigenous musicians as well as members of the LGBTQ plus community. CBC reached out to Wilk for comment but have not received a response. Laura Sharpaletti, CBC News, Regina.